Okay, so let's see how strong you are in practical math, because if you have pretty good basic math skills, you should be able to solve a practical math problem like this. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. It says the following, your car used one fourth of a 15 gallon fuel tank to travel 125 miles on a highway. What is your MPG or what is the vehicles or cars MPG? Now, if you don't know what MPG stands for, it stands for miles per gallon. So how many miles can you go on one gallon? It's effectively the mileage on your vehicle. Now, just to be uh, extra clear in this problem, because a lot of you have vehicles and you know how to calculate your mileage. Well, these days, your MPG and your mileage just kind of shows up, you know, with all your computers in your vehicles. But uh, it does make a difference uh, in terms of your car, whether you're traveling at a consistent speed on a highway or you're doing city driving. So we don't want to get uh, too uh, convoluted here. We're just going to imagine that our lovely vehicle is going at a nice constant speed on uh, a highway. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, let's read the problem before I show you the answer. Your car used one fourth of a 15 gallon fuel tank to travel 125 miles on a highway. We're looking for the vehicle's uh, MPG miles per one gallon. How many miles can we go for every one gallon of fuel. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is 33.3 miles per gallon. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in practical mathematics. But uh, more specifically, you uh, seem to know what you're doing when it comes to uh, rates. And uh, that's what we're really talking about here. Uh, this problem has something to do with the mathematical concept of a rate, and even more specifically, something called a uh, unit rate. All right, so if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a bit lost, well, just stick with me. In a couple minutes, you'll totally understand how to uh, solve this problem. But here again is our problem. And when we're facing a math a question, you know, a math word problem, what should we do? Well, always use the rule of three, and that is read a problem at least three times before you do anything. And I've already read the problem a couple of times and I've kind of explained, you know, what MPG stands for. But if you are a math student and you read a problem and you're like, I don't I don't really understand what's going on here, well, raise your hand. Ask your teachers, hey, what does this stand for? Now sometimes, you know, you might get clarification on your question, or maybe maybe you won't, okay, but at least try, okay because you can't answer a question that you don't understand. But uh, what do we do uh, after we've read this problem and we're like, all right, I understand the question. Well, we're talking about a car, we have miles, we're, we're talking about fuel, we're looking for MPG. It's probably not a bad idea to see if we can kind of model this um, you know, situation, model the question so we can kind of see or visualize the problem. Because if you can visualize the problem, oftentimes you can see the solution. So uh, this is going to bring me to my little sketch right here. So uh, in math, it's important that you feel free uh, to be creative with your little artwork. Okay, don't feel like don't feel like you have to come up with a sketch or a model just like your teacher because uh, you can come up with different models and they, as long as you understand them and you're someone looking at your solution under, understands them, there's different ways you can model or visualize the problem. So for me, I'm saying, all right, I've got a car here. It's going to go 125 miles, and uh, this part of the problem I have to you know read a few times. So it says your car used one fourth of a 15 gallon fuel tank. Okay, so one fourth of a 15 gallon fuel tank. So let's suppose I filled up my gas tank. My little uh, indicator would be all the way over here on full, right? So my gas tank 
is 15 gallons, right? So when I go up to fill my tank up, I'm going to put 15 gallons and that's going to be a nice full tank. So here I'm going to use one fourth of my gas, okay, to travel 125 miles. So I used one fourth of a 15 gallon fuel tank, right, to go 125 miles. Now the question is asking what? What is the miles per gallon? So this is the part of the problem where you have to know something about rates. So let's talk about rates right now. Okay, so what is a rate in mathematics? Well, a rate has something to do with fractions. As a matter of fact, rates have something to do with another word called ratios. And both of these words, both of these words have something to do with another word called proportions. Okay, so when you study mathematics, you typically study chapters or units that are uh, titled rates, ratios, and proportions. All right, so just a quick review. Rates and ratios, okay, and I'll erase that, but we only am talking about a ratio here. These are effectively fractions, okay? So we're talking about fractions here. So we have a numerator and denominator, okay? So a uh, rate and a ratio is effectively a fraction. Now, let me define ratio real quick before I get into rates. So a ratio is a fraction where the numerator, okay, so uh, I'm just going to come up with an example here. The numerator and the denominator, we're talking about uh, units of measure, units of measure. Uh, the numerator and the denominator are comparing the same unit of measure. So, for example, uh, I could say uh, a particular school has a student-teacher ratio or a teacher-student ratio of 1 to 20. Now you can write a ratio this way, 1 to 20, or you can say the word 1 to 20, or you can write it like this, 1 to 20 as a fraction. So what does that mean? Well, there's one teacher to uh, 20 students. Okay, that's a student-teacher ratio of 1 to 20. Now you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I still don't understand the units of measure. Well, what are we counting here? Well, one teacher, we're counting uh, teachers, and down, down here, we're counting students. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, uh, you're counting different things here. Well, no, no, I'm counting human beings. I'm ca uh, human beings. I'm counting people. Well, some of you might be saying, well, teachers aren't human beings. Well, yes, <laughs> that's my little joke for today. But yes, we are counting people. So we're counting the same concept. So that is what a ratio is. And when you hear the word two, that we're talking about a ratio, one to 20, okay? Uh, you know, and again, we can write uh, that word two or ratio using a colon. Now, uh, when we talk about rates, rates are different things similar but we're talking about units of measure as well, but we're gonna be comparing um, uh, different units of measure, okay? And rates, you're going to use this word per, okay? So let's just talk about common rates. How about like miles per hour, okay? Miles per gallon, okay? Um, I don't know, let's see here. Gallons per minute. Okay, for those of you that are familiar with pumps, if you're pumping out water or something like that, gallons per minute. All these words have, um, all these little uh, acronyms have uh, P, per. Okay, so when you hear per, we're talking about a rate. And this word rate, also, you know, we kind of use it in our vocabulary, like, hey, what's the rate of the vehicle? You know, how and you kind of think of it as speed, right? And uh, when we're talking about speed, well, how what is the rate of the car going down the highway? Well, it's 60 miles per hour, right? So again, we have that P. Now, I'm taking my time here because I really want you to understand rates okay, and ratios. And one last thing before we get into uh, uh, this rate, let's talk about proportions. So a proportion is effectively two equal rates or ratios, okay? Or effectively two equal fractions because rates and ratios are fractions. So uh, for example, if I have one half and let's think of another fraction that's equal to one half. How about three over six? Three over six is equivalent in terms of its uh, numeric value as one half, right? Well, when you have two equal fractions, we call this a proportion in math. And the great thing about proportions is their cross products are equal. In other words, when we cross multiply, one times six is what? That's six. And that's equal to what? Two times three, that's six. Okay, so when you have uh, rates, 
or ratios. You want to be thinking about proportions and you want to be thinking about uh, the cross product. All right, but in this particular problem, uh, we're going to actually be focused in on something called the unit rate. Okay, I'll get to that in one second, but let's go down and understand this MPG business. So it means miles per gallon, right? That's how many miles your car can go on one gallon. We want to know that, right? We're like, okay, if I put only one gallon of fuel in my car, how many miles can I get uh, out of that? Now, as I talked about in the beginning of this video, it will, um, you know, in real life, quote unquote, it's going to make a difference whether you're traveling only on the highway or the, the city. But let's just kind of disregard that uh, for what were, you know, uh, the applications of this problem. So MPG, miles per gallon. So let's uh, uh, write this out, miles per. So this per is a division sign or a fraction bar. So you can think of this as miles per gallon. Okay, just like uh, 1 to 20, I wrote this as 1 to 20. Okay, that fraction bar is the 2. And in this case, miles per gallon, the fraction bar is that word per. Okay, so miles per gallon means we're going to take miles and we're going to divide it by gallons. Okay, or if we had miles per hour, same difference. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a rate. We have a fraction where the units of measure in the numerator and the denominator are different. Okay, unlike a ratio where we're counting the same concept like our student to teacher um, example, we're counting people. Here, what are we comparing? Well, we're comparing distance to volume or gallons, right? One has nothing to do with another. So distance to gallons. So when you're comparing two different, completely different units of measure, you're going to be using the word per. What we're dealing with is a rate. Okay, so now that you have a thorough understanding of rates, ratios, and proportions, let's go ahead and get back to this problem. All right, so here is the situation. And, uh, you know, we use one-fourth of our 15-gallon fuel tank uh, to go 125 miles, but let's actually get the, uh, the, the, you know, actual gallons here. Okay, we're just kind of making this more complex for ourselves. One-fourth of a 15 gallon, uh, fill, uh, 15 gallons. Well, what is one fourth of 15 gallons? Well, we can easily calculate that. Uh, so the full fuel used uh, was one fourth of our 15 gallons or one fourth times 15, which is this 3.75 gallons. So this is the actual amount of fuel that we used. So we can actually think of the problem this way. Okay, so what is our miles per gallon? Well, how many gallons do we use? Well, we actually used 3.75 gallons, right? Not, uh, you know, of course, it's one-fourth of a 15-gallon fuel tank, but let's get the actual gallon. So there you go. So we have 3.75 gallons. Um, that's what, what was required to go 125 miles. But again, we're looking for the MPG, which is uh, miles per one gallon. How many miles per one gallon? Okay, this is uh, what we're looking for, not how many miles per 3.75 gallons. So anytime you're looking for something where we have one, a rate, okay, or a ratio where one is in the denominator, this is what we call the unit rate or unit ratio. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly take a look at this. And first of all, I need your help to continue to grow my YouTube channel. Now, I've been on YouTube for many, many years. I love teaching on YouTube. You know, I just kind of have fun with it. I try to make math clear and understandable. Definitely, uh, you know, I don't want to teach it in a way where it feels like you're in school, okay? Because a lot of people, you know, they don't like, you know, being in a classroom. And they don't want to listen to a quote-unquote lecture. So this is why I try to explain things in an easy-to-understand. Uh, at least that's my goal, okay? But if you like my math videos, well, I need your help to continue to try to, you know, grow my channel and reach as many people as you possibly can. And the best way to do that is to hit that subscribe button and to hit that notification bell. Now, some of you out there are maybe out of school you know, or maybe thinking about, you know, uh, you know, relearning mathematics or maybe you have a need to relearn math or get ready for some sort of math exam. Uh, so I'm speaking to those of you that are not currently math students, but maybe are interested in math. Maybe you like math. Well, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. This is an excellent course. Um, matter of fact, a lot of people have been uh, using it, so I'm very happy that I built it. But it starts off with basic math, and the goal of this course is to rebuild your math skills. There's so many out there 
who are, you know, fantastic in mathematics, but maybe that was like 1965, okay, or 1988, or 1973, or maybe 1994, whatever the case is, you know, it's been a long time. So, of course, you're going to forget this stuff. So my Math Skills Rebuilder course is designed for you to kind of refurbish your math skills. So I start off with very basic math, okay, I'm talking about arithmetic, and then we just kind of build up from there uh, into uh, a lot of algebra, a lot of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. So if you're interested in that course, you'll find a link to it in the description. Also, you'll find links to my other courses and notes in the description as well. All right, so let's get back to the rest of this problem. So here's the situation. We have our car. We used uh, 3.75 gallons to go 125 miles. So what is the miles per gallon? Okay. So miles per one gallon. So we need to find what we call the unit rate. Okay, so how many miles did we go? Well, we went 125 miles. How many gallons did we use? Uh, 3.75 gallons. So how can we find the miles per gallon? Well, let's just think about this. Well, if I have 125 miles and I use 3.75 gallons, I can just literally divide 125 by 3.75. And when I do that, uh, what am I gonna, I'm going to get what? Well, I'm going to get 33.3. .3. But really what I'm doing here is I want one in the denominator. I want to know how many miles I can go on one gallon. Okay, well, in order to figure this out, let's take this 3.75 uh, gallon and divide it by itself. Because anytime I take a number and I divide it by itself, what's the answer? Well, the answer is one. So I want one in the denominator. Okay, I want to know how many miles this car can go on one gallon. So let's divide both the uh, denominator and the numerator by 3.75. So 3.75 divided by 3.75 is 1, and 125 divided by 3.75 is 33.3. .3. So the miles per one gallon, or the MPG, is approximately 33.3 .3 miles per one gallon. And again, this is what we call the unit rate, okay? And there's something equivalent to this when we're talking about ratios and you want that one in the denominator. Okay, so hopefully this was an interesting little video and you'll learn a thing or two about rates, ratios, and proportions. And, uh, you know, a lot of things that we deal with, you know, in practical everyday math, you know, we run into like miles per hour, miles per gallon. And you may not be thinking about the actual mathematics behind it. But hopefully, after watching this video, you'll look at all this stuff a bit differently. Again, as I said, you know, at the start of this video, we're talking about practical math skills, okay? Uh, you know, you learn math for a reason. You know, you're not going to always be using algebra and calculus on a day-to-day -day basis. But, you know, in terms of practical math, you know, what are some of the things that you'll constantly always be using in life? Well, definitely things like percent math skills. This is something that you probably use constantly. Uh, things, you know, working with fractions and, you know, rates and ratios. These are very common practical math skills that hopefully all of you want to have. But uh, anyways, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.